US stocks closed with the usual fanfare, but there was little to celebrate as Tuesday saw a nosedive across the board. The Dow Jones swung more than 600 points, tumbling 1.3 per cent. The S&P 500 fell 1.4 per cent and the Nasdaq Composite closed down 1.6 per cent. This after Donald Trump tweeted that talks with Democrats over the coronavirus stimulus package are now called off. Nancy Pelosi is asking for $2.4 trillion to bail out poorly run, high crime Democrat states, money that is in no way related to COVID-19. We made a very generous offer of $1.6 trillion, and as usual, she is not negotiating in good faith. I am rejecting their request and looking to the future of our country. I have instructed my representatives to stop negotiating until after the election. The US president went on to say that the economy is bouncing back at record levels, but the Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell has warned the economic recovery is far from complete. A long period of unnecessarily slow progress could continue to exacerbate existing disparities in our economy. That would be tragic, especially in light of our country's progress on these issues in the years leading up to the pandemic. Last week's losses were recouped somewhat following the news that Donald Trump had contracted COVID-19, as it was felt this gave more hope to a stimulus deal being achieved. But responding to the news that Trump has ended negotiations, Speaker Pelosi said it shows his true colours, that he's walking away from talks that would help the poor. Meanwhile, the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says the focus now turns to getting through hearings so that the president's pick for the Supreme Court, Judge Amy Coney Barrett, can take the vacant seat as soon as possible.